So now we have the relationships between the functioning. This is the pure understanding, part three. So there we've got the posture, the ninth dimension, the actor, the body. And there we have the sexual energy, and as I said, you know, you know, some sort of sexual partnership, and that partnership goes into other non-sexual relationships, or we have energy partnerships with others, you know, our working partners, you know, and our friends. And this is the fire. So here we, we have, there is the body, so in a car that's the actual vehicle, and there we have the heat, which is the engine. So going up, so sorry, so, so so going down, we have the energy to the to the the motor to the cut vehicle, which is the gear which is the inner truth of how the relationship is working, whether it's meshing. And then the 62 up there, upwards, is the actual partnership. So you've got the 61, which is the functioning, the inner truth of whether the relationship is working, and then the 62 is the actual relationship. Is you know, trusting, depending on each other, having each other there, being there for each other. Or it's being in dear, or there's the clutch being engaged, the clutch is engaged, there's the gear. There you've got the touch to the actual body, so this, you know, is, is movement. You can either hold still, you know, use your hands to hold still, or just hold still, or you can move, you can move the object in space, which is part of the flow of things in this triangle. This pressure triangle, the flow of things, the objects around you, the moving around. And there is the objects you're holding still. And there's the... Sorry, there's the objects you're moving, and there's the objects you're holding still. So you mean counterbalanced. Here, you have an object that you're feeling becoming a pressure map, so you're describing it, describing it. And then the other way, you're thinking, you know, what object it is that you, 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 you want. Down here, we have uh, finding and seeking. So it's finding and seeking that particular object. In some it's the energy is moving you to find and seek a particular object. The energy needs that food on supply and demand. 49 is a demand revolution, revolutionary demands. 50 is the supply, the energy being put on the fire, you know, the carburetor. Here we have 57, 58. 57 is the object fitting in. 58, it, sorry, 57 is the object being measured. And 58 is, sorry, is, is the object fitting in. So it's measuring and fitting in. So this becomes a catalogue of objects we've felt and rotated. So we know the object inside out and round about. So we can then move it and rotate it into a certain position. Well, this is also scale, 53 is scale. 54 is the object, 53 is scale. So a scale, it can be increased or decreased to, to fit in in a certain position. We come to this triangle. Here we've got the heat and the sound. We've got the metal, the officer, and then we've got the hunter. So here we've got, you know, we've got friction. We've got heat and metal. 
about friction. We've also got harmony, we've also got resonance. There's resonance and dissonance. Resonance, dissonance. People getting on, people not getting on. Like a new moon and then a full moon. You're going in harmony together or going their separate ways. And on the other side, we've got the smell, which is really in this sense is the pheromones, the smell to the sex is the pheromones. But really it's space and the heat. <coughs> <coughs> so this is actually the proper <coughs> angle, what we call <coughs> temperature. <coughs> but this is the actual, the actual effect, you know, the, the of vibrations. Or, you know, it, it, when it's cold, the, you know, when it's cold, the, the elements fall move apart. When it, when it, oh sorry, when it's hot. Everything moves apart in the summer. When it's cold, everything comes together around the fire. When everything's cold, things coalesce and, you know, coagulate and condense and crystallize. So, cold, hot. You know, things get closer and move apart. You know, this is about intensity. So, this is the friction of, you know, incompatibility. And this is the intensity of that, whether it's going up or down or how things are going over the space time. This comes out in the audio signal. This is the actual drama. The smell, the sound, the reaction. The officer, the one being bossy, you know, the, the control freak, the one being diplomatic. And then, the, then I suppose, the sexual opportunity, opportunity in that cycle and, that, and the repetition of that cycle. So there you've got the smell to the sound, the actual audio track in the space-time, in the sound itself is space-time relativity, even the vibration, the waveform, the audio. Here we've got the sound to the time, the taste, the, the stone to the metal. You know, which is like extracting, isn't it? Um, smelting, uh, getting the iron out of the stone, the sword out of the stone, so the sword out of the stone. The logistical problem. This is about problem solving. It's basically about, about logistics. This is about moving objects. This is about space time. So this one is about logistics. It's moving objects in space time. 39 is when there's a problem, 40 is the solution. So this, if you like, is the chess, where the chess program, because all of these can be di have different functions, different intelligent functions that we've already got. And this one will be the chess one, the logistics programs. Coming to the vision, the vision is seeing, we see surfaces and we see movement. We see faces and movement. We recognize surfaces, you know, that's, you know, my rucksack, that's my shirt, and the surface from the pattern we recognize, and this is about recognizing shapes. There is the video, there is the cartoon with different shapes, different you know, surfaces passing by, we identify those different shapes by the pattern on the surface. And from the, that one is the accelerator, the relative movement of each object as it flies past on the video signal. And there we have, you know, finally that the eyes focus on the focus point of attention, which originally is the breast, the child, which is focusing on the point of focusing in and out. You see the breast. We follow the signal. And we, you know, harmonize with each other. There we are following a certain path. Following that signal, that movement. And responding to our mother. So we're following the breast, the movement.
trying to latch on to the nipple and then we've seen our mother's face, her response. So we're seeing the breast, the mother, and there's the father, so you start getting the Oedipus complex straight away with this triangle. So back to the focus is where we're coming with the two main things from the, from the movement from having, and having an abstract purpose, the important of having an abstract purpose, an interest in mind, you know, a hobby, an interest, but a concern, something that, you know, bothers us, bothers that needs sorting out. The maxim handed down to us is to take in hand the work upon human nature. This is the abstract purpose. And then remember, this is where we're all together focused. So we have an abstract purpose amongst ourselves. We know each other's purposes, their intent. So we have an abstract purpose to benefit us all, to benefit the function, the flow, everybody's happy, happiness and flow of energy. And then the other side of the abstract purpose is a concern for others. You know, have a concern for others. Because obviously those others around us are putting pressure on us. So if we don't have concern for others, then the whole thing falls apart. It's always functioning together. <laughs>